Provide details which will allow you to distinguish between the main species of bat found in the UK and describe the techniques you might use if you were to conduct a survey of bats in a given area. Here I've used um, different sentences to remember the bats in a certain order. The first sentence, which should memorize them all, is scan lens web dang ba ba ba. For the bats beginning with N, there is Nathan nocturnally natters. And for the bats beginning with B, Brad is a brown barbed bitch. <coughs> to begin. There are 16 native bats in the UK. They are distinguished by morphology. Horseshoe bats have horseshoe shaped snouts. The greater horseshoe has a forearm length greater than 45 millimeters and is pear shaped. The lesser horseshoe has a forearm length less than 45 millimeters and is plum shaped. The remaining 14 are Vesper bats. <coughs> Pipistrels have the shortest forearm lengths and a post-calcereal lobe. Scan. Serotine, common, both 30 to 32 millimetres. Nathusius's, 30 to 34 millimetres. The Leisler's noctual and serotine um, have the longest forearm lengths and a post-calcereal lobe. Leisler's 43 to 45 millimeters, Noctual and Serotine 50 to 53 millimeters. From this point, bats are ordered from the shortest to longest forearm length, between the lengths of the Pipistrels and Leisler's bat. None of these have a post calcereal lobe. The Whiskered and Brants, both of a similar size with shaggy fur, they can be told about told apart by concave whiskered and convex brants tragus and straight whiskered versus bulbous brants penises. The Dorbentons has bare round eyes and large hairy feet. The Natteras with curly ears and an S-shaped calcar and a white belly. Up to now we have memorized the letter N's Nathan nocturnally natters, Nathusius noctule natteris. Next, the grey long eared and brown long eared have ears greater than 28 millimeters long. The brown bat has a pink face and the grey bat has a black face. Finally, Barbastrel and Becksteins, brown, brown long eared. Barbastrel and Becksteins, as well as the um, Brants at the beginning, have been remembered by Brad is a brown barbed bitch, which makes Brants, brown long eared Barbastrel and Becksteins. Barbastrel and Becksteins, these have smaller but still prominent ears. The Barbastrel has black ears, and Becksteins are pink and rabbit shaped. Becksteins also has a long muzzle like nose. Further distinguishing features among the Pipistrels are the Soprano's pink face and musty smell, the Common's black face and V-shaped nose, and Nathosius's yellow belly and hairy tail membrane. Tragus shape and colour disting distinguishes the largest Vespers. Leisler's and Noctule have a mushroom-shaped tragus, while Serotine's is banana-shaped. Leisler's is brown with a bulbous face the nuptial is ginger, and the serotine has a black face. For the next section, if asked to do a survey as an unlicensed surveyor, um, we would be restricted to bat detectors and counting methods. Due to their endangered status, trapping and radio tracking requires a license from Natural England. I've remembered these methods with the sentence I hate this food, it be shit. Hate. There are three types of detectors available. Heterodyne, frequencies bouncing off bat calls making them audible to humans. Time expansion, re record and playback for computer analysis. Frequency division, reducing every tenth sound to an audible range. 
Bat <coughs> bats use echolocation to hunt food and perceive objects in the environment. The high frequency sounds, 20 to 200 kilohertz, are unique to each species, so can be used to in identification. There are at least five methods of counting. Be shit. Bat box counts. Bat boxes are put up in woodland to increase roost sites, but a license is needed if the boxes are to be opened for inspection. Exit counts are direct counts of bats emerging 15 minutes before sunset. Handheld counters are used for large colonies. Shit. Swarming counts take place in the hour before sunrise. They are useful in finding new roosting sites as bats often move roosts according to food availability. Hibernation counts occur in December, January and February and can be difficult as bats often hibernate in crevices. Transects. Walking a transect with a bat detector gives information on habitat and roost locations and minimum species diversity.